Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So, continue from last session on exercise 6.1 on linear inequalities. So, today's first question is Solve 5x minus 3 less than 7 when x belongs to an integer and x belongs to real number. So we have to solve this linear inequality 5x minus 3 less than 7 whenever x is an integer and x is belonging to a set of real numbers. So the solution is we are given that 5x minus 3 less than 7 to find the value of x. Now applying the rules of linear inequality we will get 5x minus 3 plus 3 less than 7 plus 3. We have add plus 3 on both sides of this inequality to balance this linear inequality. Now it becomes minus 3 and plus 3 cancels out. Becomes 5x less than 7 plus 3 then. And again we divide this linear inequality by positive 5. So, it will be like x less than 2, right? Now, the solution of this linear inequality is x less than 2. But we are given some conditions that x belongs to integer. Whenever x belongs to a set of integers and the, the, and the integers less than 2 will be what? The integers less than 2 will be the integers here, the blue lines. Not 2, but the less numbers 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, up to minus infinity. So, whenever s belongs to z, the solution will be solution will be what? Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. But not including the number 2. Because this is strictly less than 2. Now for 2. For this given, x belongs to the set of real numbers. So real numbers is the set where all the numbers are gathered here. So the real numbers less than 2 will be the numbers belonging to the interval minus infinity open interval minus infinity comma 2 because in an interval all the real numbers are inside of this interval so whenever x is less than 2 the solution will be minus infinity comma 2 and this open interval Right? So, I hope this question is clear. So, for the linear inequality 5x minus 3 less than 7, the solutions will be for integers here minus infinity, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. And for real numbers, it will be the open interval minus infinity, comma 2. So, the question number 4 is to solve 3x plus 8 greater than 2 when x belongs to the set of integers and x belongs to the set of real numbers. The given linear inequality is 3x plus 8 greater than 2. Now we have to solve for x, then it will be right. Since we know that if we add or subtract by any two equal numbers on both sides of a linear given linear inequality, then the sign remains same. So here this is greater than. Now 3x greater than minus 6. Now divide by plus 3 on both sides, then it will be like x greater than minus 2. Now, whenever x belongs to the set of integers, when x belongs to set of integers, the solution will be the solutions will be 
minus 1 greater than minus 2. So, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to plus infinity. So, the solution will be this. Whenever x belongs to the set of real numbers, then the solution will be solution will be the open interval minus 2 since x greater than minus 2 so plus infinity so i hope uh, the result is done with you right so this is the question number four in which we have to find the value of x for x belongs to set of integers and x belongs to set of real numbers now the next question is question number five that is solve the following for real x we have to find the solution for real value it is given that 4x plus 3 less than 5x plus 7 so First of all, we take minus 4x on both sides of this given inequality. This cancels out 3 less than 5x minus 4x equal x plus 7. Again, 3 minus 7, x plus 7 minus 7. That is minus 4 less than x because these are cancelling out. Now, minus 4 is less than x. It means x is greater than minus 4. So, we have to find the value of x for real value. Therefore, for any real x, the solution will be minus 4 open interval plus infinity. Question number 6, 3x minus 7, greater than 5x minus 1. So finally we have got minus 3 greater than x. So that is x less than minus 3. So for real value of x, solution is minus infinity minus 3. Open interval minus infinity minus 3. This is the solution for question number 6. So the questions from 3 to 6, these are done. So let's solve some more questions. This is question number 11. 3 into x minus 2 divided by 5 is less than or equal 5 into 2 minus x divided by 3. We have to solve this linear inequality for x and for the real value of x. So, first of all, we cross multiply the linear inequality. Then it will be like this into 3 and 5 into this. So, 3 into 3, nine. so 9 into x minus 2 is less than equal to 25 into, multiply this 9 inside of this bracket. So, it will become 9x minus 18 is less than equal to 50 minus 25x. Since we need to find x, therefore, I am subtracting 9x on both sides of this linear inequality then it will become so this cancels out and minus 18 is less than equal 50 minus 25 plus 9 it will be 34x minus 18 minus 50 less than equal 50 minus 34x minus 50. 
I am subtracting 50 on both sides then it will be minus 68 less than equal minus 34x now here we have got minus 68 less than equal minus 34x now since the both the expressions on left hand side and right hand side is negative so first of all we need to make it positive but how i will multiply minus 1 on both sides of this linear inequality so we have a rule that on rule number 3 that is if we multiply multiply or divide by negative numbers on a given linear inequality then the sign of inequality gets reversed therefore it will be not less than equal but here it will be greater than equal so this will be positive 68 greater than equal 34x so the next part i am writing here by 34 is greater than equal greater than equal 34 x by 34 this cancels out now 2 17 are 34 and 17 4 are 68 right now it cancels out and the result is 2. That means 34, 2 is 68. So here, 2 greater than equal x means x is less than equal to. So we have to find the value of x for real value. Therefore, the solution will be two. Since this is not strictly less than. But less than equal that means the value 2 is included here so close interval to infinity open interval so the solution will be this is this right no this is wrong because x less than equal to therefore the solution will be 2 close interval here minus infinity open close interval minus infinity comma 2 so the solution will be minus infinity to 2 right this is our next question is question number 12 half into 3x divided by 5 plus 4 is greater than equal 1 by 3 of x minus 6 so again we will cross multiply then it will be like 3 into 3x divided by 5 plus 4 greater than equal 2 into x minus 6 right 3 into this greater than equal 2 into x minus 6 Now multiplying 3 with this 9x by 5 plus 12 greater than equal 2x minus 12. So 9x by 5 plus 12 greater than equal 2x minus 12 minus 2x. Sorry, on this also I subtract twice x from both sides of this inequality. Then 9x by 5 minus 2x plus 12 greater than equal minus 12. Now taking LCM for this 2. Finally, we have got minus x by 5 plus 12 plus 12 
greater than equal minus 12 plus 12. Now, this is extra question. So, continuing from this, minus x by 5 plus 12 greater than equal 0. So, since we need x on meter 4, I write minus x squared by on the right side and it becomes positive. Now, cross, multiplying again, 60 greater than equal x. 60 greater than equal x. This means x is less than equal 60. So, for real value of x, the solution will be minus infinity 60 open close interval minus infinity 60 will be the solution for this linear inequality so today's session's last question that is question number 13 so the solution will be 2 into 26 plus 3 minus 10 less than 6 into x minus 2 So, 4x plus 6 minus 10 less than 6x minus 12. Again, 4x minus 4 minus 4x less than 6x minus 12 minus 4x. So, I am subtracting 4x on both sides of this inequality. Then, minus 4 less than 2x minus 12. Now it will be 8 less than 26. Because I have added plus 12 on both sides, then it becomes minus 4 plus 12 less than my plus x minus 12 plus 12. So minus 4 plus 12 will be 8. Now 4 less than equal x. And 4 less than equal x, it will be nothing but x is greater than 4. So the solution is Value is greater than 4, so 4 and open interval plus infinity. So this will be the solution for this linear inequality question number 13. So I hope you are done with these problems and in the next class we will also solve more problems on HHS 6.1. And if you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. So thank you for watching this video.